So this comes with Windows 10 Home. What the luck? Come on. Let's get rid of that Windows Home. Let's get some Windows Pro. Copy and paste my code from the description. You can also get Office 2019. Just paste my code. Woof. It's Windows Pro time. Now let's see how this new 2019 base model 27 inch iMac games in Mac OS. This one comes with a 6 core i5 8500, 8GB eight of RAM and RX 570 graphics. And I have to say on the whole, this thing can freaking game and actually amazes me, especially with the 8 gigs and being the base model with the base graphics. Silent gaming too. Nice big display as well. Good sound. Yeah, it's all right. Now you do want to sub up and join the Woo Train because I'm going to have an epic shootout between this iMac, the MacBook Pro with Vega 20, a PC that costs exactly the same as this base model iMac and also a PC laptop, either be the Alienware or be the Aero 15, one of those. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Now let's see how it performs in Mac OS gaming. Catch you in the next one. Woof. All right, so we're playing DSX Mankind Divided and the first thing's first. Oh my God, it takes so long to load a level. Um, yeah, that Fusion hard drive, not a good idea. We're getting about 50 frames per second. This is natively in Mac OS. So I will test it in Windows in a sec, but I'm absolutely gobsmacked, amazed at the performance this is getting, all right, with eight gigabytes of RAM. Eight gigabytes of RAM. Now, I thought you needed 16 gigs these days, but at full HD, yeah, I don't think so. Eight gigabytes, you know, it's on the lower limit, you probably want more, but, and will depend on the game, but this is pushing 52, stock and obviously in windows i can overclock that gpu um, this is stock it's super quiet um, i can't tell you the temperature in that now because i don't have the tools in mac os that i do in windows but yeah over 50 frames per second and this is at high settings so if you put this down to medium this rx 570 it's good for 1080p gaming this game's really well and it's virtually silent gaming you can hear it but yeah it's the fan noise is very low, like it's really good compared to like a gaming laptop. Yeah, it's bliss. So I'm going to test a few more games in Mac OS. Let's do that. Okay, we do it. You can play about 60 frames per second at medium. Woo! Let's go, baby. Oh! Oh, yeah! Go! Alright, let's jump over this. Yeah, 60 frames constant pretty much. And the sound's pretty decent too, isn't it? Woo! Now I will say that this doesn't have the best screen for gaming. Obviously, it's not a fast refresh at 60 hertz, but it does ghost a bit. It's made for still images and you know editing video and stuff like that. So the pixel response isn't that fast, but I'm playing 1440p actually, at high settings, 1440p, and still getting 60 frames per second. Well, that's pretty good. So yeah, it's actually in Mac OS, you know, some of the games, it games very well, and I don't feel the need for an eGPU at all. And this is just the base model. If you stock amount of RAM, it's just, yeah, it's pretty good. Can't really complain. And yeah, nice 27 inch screen. Does look good, the display, but yeah, if you're playing first person shooters, you will want, you know, maybe two output to a, you know, external monitor. Oh, where's the ball gone? Where are we, where are we go? Oh, there you go. Let's go, 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 go. Boom. Right, so what are we pushing here? At 1080p, we're pushing 40 frames per second. So I think, uh, 40 frames is pretty good at 1080p. You could probably play 30 frames per second at Civ because it's not really you know, a game you need like 60 FPS. Now we're pushing 80 frames per second. So yeah, I reckon this can be bumped up to 1440p. And yeah, pretty good performance. All right, so yeah, now we're playing Fortnite and nice performance here. This is high settings, 1080p, and we are indeed getting over 60 frames. We're getting around 70 frames per second. So the performance in Fortnite in Mac OS is very good. So yeah. All right, so now I'm playing with the eGPU. And you can see, yeah, virtually the same. All right, it's going up to 70 something. 
it's still 60s you can hear the GPU cranking up now it's got a really um, loud power supply on that um, Kitty Ad Note Pro but yeah it's still 60 70 frames yeah it will go higher like a little bit higher and like nearly 80 frames 75 frames but because it's doing the round trip so basically um, through the one cable so the cable comes out the back of the uh, iMac goes into the eGPU and then goes back into the display because basically that's where the graphics is being um, rendered on it's doing that round trip and it's going through the cable you get the bottleneck so really if you want to use an eGPU you can see there's not much difference and that's a Vega 64 it's much more powerful than the graphics that's in this but because you're doing that round trip yeah you're better off just using the internal GPUs well certainly in Fortnite now this doesn't matter for rendering and stuff like that video editing yeah you'll get more performance because it's not doing that round trip it's just actually using the GPU for crunching the numbers it's not actually displaying from that so I do recommend if you want the best out of an eGPU make sure you output it to an external monitor which sort of in the IMAX case is not really worth it you know you really want to use this display you don't want to have to use another display then it starts to look a bit janky you know the, the appeal of the iMac is the all-in-one sort of nature so anyway yeah not much difference with the eGPU now one thing I can do with the eGPU is play higher resolutions of course um, at 1080p yeah it's not making much difference but you can still play higher resolutions and this is like higher than 4k resolution this and I'm playing at 40 45 frames per second if I have a look on the top right we can see there uh, 35 drop yeah and it goes into the 40s sometimes so 35 40 frames at high resolution basically nearly 4k it's actually a little bit higher than 4k because of the I don't know because of the Mac won't let you do 216p so yeah 2160p should I say yeah you can play a high res if you want so champs I'd like to really thank you guys for watching I'll catch you in the next one tally ho